we are at the final part of this series of where I've taught you how to make minimal drum and bass that sounds exactly like this. <laughs> If you've not seen the rest of the series, probably worth checking out because we cover the drums, sub bass, vocals, mid bass, and there's just a lot of tips and tricks that you can implement within your own music to hopefully make it sound better. This video is gonna be really the final part where we take all of the different beautiful ingredients that we have created and turn it into a bit of a slapper. And the song is now gonna be available on SoundCloud. So my SoundCloud is linked down below. So go and, go and have a little listen to that. Include it in your mixes, send it through maybe get a shout out. For all of the people who comment about Inca, she does make an appearance for a good chunk of this video. So you'll have to stick around to find out when she pops her cute furry little head up. So without further ado, let's jump into how I finished off this masterpiece. And yeah, um, there's not really much more to say. So let's, uh, let, let's crack on, shall we? So I've had a little fiddle around with it since I started working on it yesterday. And what I actually did is I exported it so that I could listen to it without being able to tweak it. And one of the things that I realized is that it was too complicated in this section here, and then it was just the same in this section here. Because this bit, this bit here is all different. So what I did is I, I basically just cut away loads of the kind of little grunts. And as you can see, they just then start to gradually increase and increase and increase. And then this is kind of the main crescendo. And then this is where they're all removed. So that gives us this. You've also got these other bits here coming in. It's just building a little bit more nicely. I do think one of the things that it needs is it needs some crash symbols just to accentuate the you know, between each phrase kind of thing. What we could even do is take this little section here and then reverse it into the crash. Sounds real nice. So the next bit transitions really nicely into the more musical part. Cool, so let's do something with this intro. What can we do? What do we have? All right, so what, what we have is we have this nice drum, simple drum beat at the beginning. So I'm gonna sort these out so that it's it sounds like it's in time. So we need to figure out the time in there. One, I mean, I actually might even prefer this bit if that was to go like here. Yeah, and that bit wants to go like that. Yeah, nice. Maybe these, these could be swapped around instead. No, and maybe just like a nice sort of re-space right at the bottom of it. I've shown you how to do this in other videos. I'll show you again. So plus, so this one wants to be plus 24. This one wants to be minus 24. Turn the random down on both. MG low on both. I like doing it MG low 24. Put this little symbol on here and then you've got a nice re-space. I think this could be longer now that we've got the Reese in there. And then it can go to the more high pitched stuff, which I believe is this. And what we could also do is glue in the background is use this previous one that we made. So like the long note. But there's some automation going on in here that we don't really want on this. So is it? Yeah, it's this. I mean, it's a different color. So then it's got a nice bit that grows here, but we don't want it to grow as much. Uh, maybe what we do is we actually sort of reverse this so that it grows. Yeah, 
I'm going to create an intro kick, which is not got as much of a low end, because then it's going to sound heavier and weightier here. I want to have this kind of like just gradually increasing to a constant volume. Yeah, it's sounding, sounding really nice. And maybe on these, what we can do, I'm going to create another group of these, again, for the intro, and I'm going to drown them in reverb, basically. So all of that wants to go in like that, and these want to go in. And maybe the reverb could... You know what, I'm actually just going to save this as a blank dual FX, because that would just make my life so much easier. And then in this, I'm going to put a load of reverb in the wet. I mean, I'm going to make sure that it's only affecting the low end. Give it a bit of multi-band just to boost up some of these mid frequencies. Maybe even like a bit of delay could be good in there. After this, like slow delay. <laughs> I need to do something with this second drop, but I'm thinking it's just going to be sort of a variation of this first one. I'm thinking I want like a sort of a jungly amen kind of break. Basically that. So I'm going to swap these hats over. And then I want like a little sort of double hat here. Yeah, nice. Big, big, big fan of that already. So we can just go ahead and delete out all of this here. And we want like another double shuffle, maybe like there. Cool. Right, so then we got these perks as well. Uh, I don't really like this first pot or the first hit. Or that. What if it just had like this little hit at the end here as well? No. Get rid of this. I think what I want is this same bass, but twice as fast. So it's going to go like woo 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 rather than your, your standard woo woo. So it's very slow at the moment, so we're going to make it like... I'm going to give it a bit more top. Uh, what if we just tried, like, this bass on its own? Quite like that. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, then I want it to drop back into this, because this is like the regular note. Because this E is good, but it's not great. Might have slower. Oh, we need the ride symbols in there as well. And I guess we could use a couple of these. Let's just copy all of them over just to see what we're working with. Yeah, so it's we don't want these in there. I, mean, I actually sort of want this to be rolled off a little bit. And I need that little chanty vocal. I'm gonna absolutely accentuate this. Right, and then we want it to go left, right, left, right. Pretty hard. So we're gonna use the auto pan. Maybe half, actually. Like that. Turn the feedback up. I'm gonna copy all this across. What is this? So this is gonna be like our B section. Keep all these other little bits in there because they're gonna add some, some candy, which I love. And then all of that is the same, is it? Right, I don't know what all this is here. 
brutal, brutal delete. Fucking hell, we had a lot of different variations. I mean, they all have their place, because we did need them all. That can go... I think all of this can now go as well. Or oh, apart from the... I'm going to keep the quiet stuff. There's some things. I think there's some things in there that we might want. No, there's not. Chance. We only want, we only want one chance right at the beginning. That's going to copy twice. Do we want this impact thing? Well, I'll find out. Put that like there. Yeah, that's looking good. I mean, the thing is, guys, we've already done the work. Yeah, now we just need to bask in the fruits of our labour and make it sound make it sound real fancy. So we need the crash in there and in there. Yeah, it's looking good. And there's also a little riser somewhere. Somewhere around here. Is it this? We definitely did have a little reverse in there. But where, oh, where has it gone? It was this one. Nice and loose. Cut the end off just so we get the full impact of it. And then we have this. Why does that sound weird? That sounds different. All right, we're going to go through one by one. Not that. Not that. Ah, that's what it is. Ah, uh, yeah, I knew I'd, I knew I'd forget this. I knew I would forget this. So it's because I'd automated all this reverb on for the beginning, uh, for the intro, and forgot to turn it off. Second drop doesn't really work. Maybe what we do is we do the reverse of what I thought last time. Right, I want this intro reese to sort of grow in, in terms of its aggression. We need to grow into our aggression. So I'm going to have it like here. So it's like building the suspense. are too cute. It needs a vocal in there. I found myself instead. When you are fully awake, you dance. Release yourself. That's quite a nice one. Oh, we've already got a speech one here. And it's already got all my settings. I absolutely love that. What do you think, Inca? Again, probably not much, because we've been through this a few times. I mean, you are a cat. In order to have the worthiness to gain, one must have in order to do something, you must do something else. Suffering comes from the meaning you attach to the situation, and not from the situation itself. This is some properly, properly deep shit right here. Suffering comes from the meaning you attach to the situation, and not from the situation itself. The pain you right, this bass is absolutely insane right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remedy that. It's f it's just way too loud. So this is intro Bristol. Suffering comes from the meaning you attach to the situation and not from the situation itself. The pain you feel sometimes. So we're gonna have to space these correctly. And not from the situation itself. The pain you feel sometimes is not meant to leave you broken, but rather break you up. What are you doing? Hey, eh? are you just having a nice little seat? And you're gone. That was nice. So I think that'll pretty much do it for now. I am going to go ahead and mix and master it in preparation for SoundCloud. So by the time that this video goes live, then, you know, it, it will be on SoundCloud. So what I'll do is I'll play a start to finish now, but make sure that you go and like it on SoundCloud, like this video as well, and, uh, you know, show your friends. 
you know, show, show your family. Anyone who does like drum and bass, send it to them. Anyone who doesn't like drum and bass, send it to them as well, because by the end of this, they will, they will like drum and bass. Anyway, let's take a little listen. So there we have it, start to finish, a proper start to finish of how to make some lovely sounding minimal drum and bass. So if you've liked this video, then like the video. If you've really liked the video, then comment. If you've not liked the video, then just don't comment, you know, get get back to your day, make yourself a cup of tea, have a sarni. That, that's pretty much it. So until next time, have a lovely evening wherever you are, and um, I think that will... I think that'll do it for, for today, so.